Right, what have we got today? Well, it's not a flashlight, but it's related to flashlight and prepping and all sorts of things like that. So it's a charger, a magnetic USB charger, because USB is everywhere these days. I've got USB in the car. I've, I carry a, a power bank, as you know, which is USB. Um, you can charge all your stuff. Most people have computers, even at work, you've got USB. It's ubiquitous, it's everywhere, and it's handy. So what's the point of this? It allows you to charge stuff on the go, but it has an added feature, it has a pass-through. So instead of just being able to go into a USB, it has a pass-through, so you can actually use it as a power bank feature from a cell. So very interesting. So if you remember, I'm gonna put that to one side for a second. If you remember my review of the Olight magnetic charger, I loved this. So obviously what you do is you put that on your cell, plug it into USB, and it charges, as simple as that. You can't put it the wrong way around, there's no particular, it's got reverse polarity protection, it just works. I really like this and I've got a couple, I keep one in the car um, and I keep one in bags and things like that and it's very, very handy so I appreciate that. So I'm interested to see what Falmoff have come up, come up with on this one. Um, I've only done one of the Falmoff review which was the, I think it was the C4 EDC which was the flashlight. Nice, um, it's got a very throwy beam pattern when you get it on a wall. But that and that also has like a power bank function because of the type of lead you get with it. So a follow up for putting out some good stuff there. It's still a relatively new company, but I'm interested to see what they've got here. So let's get this open. Take that rubbish off. Now there's your basic instructions, but I'll just quickly show you them, but I will memorize that. Right, I've memorized that, right. Pop that to one side. So what's the name of this thing? Follow off A1 magnetic USB charger. And you can see that's magnetic there. They're sticking together back to back. So unlike the Olight, the stick back to back, the Olight um, packs um, terminal to terminal like that. So, let's get rid of that rubbish. Okay, so let's go over the basics here. So let's see how I wanted to charge a cell. So it just so happens I've got a Whopper one here. I've got the Night Core 26650 here. So it's quite a large cell. So I just want to see if it'll fit this first. So you've got obviously plus and a minus. That should have a minus on. So plus is at the top there. There's the plus, so there's your plus terminal, and stick that on the minus. Now, at this point, you're probably thinking, well, what difference does it make? Because on the Olight one, you don't have to put it the right way around. Well, it does make a difference, because watch, if I was to put this the wrong way around, so if I put the plus on the negative, okay, and then the negative on the positive, watch what happens. Straight away, it's saying, warning wrong so it's giving you that protection red blinking means wrong it, you, it will not charge like that so that, that's handy but it's also a bit of a disappointment because the Olight one doesn't need to do that so anyway we'll put that back on the right way so negative on the bottom and they're, they're pretty strong magnets i think the neodymium is so pretty strong so no flash there perfect okay so put a power bank here so let's say you're out and about and you want to charge so let's get that put in there so i'll put it in the right way around Let's see what happens. Helps if I turn the power bank on, obviously. Okay, so you've got power going through, and can you see here, it's flashing green. So green flash means it's charging. And then when it's finished charging, you'll get a solid green. So a nice USB, not over the top, not wasting it too much energy. Pretty straightforward, that. Um, you can't get any more straightforward than that. So red, mean, red blinking means the polarity is wrong, you've got it the wrong way around. Um, solid green finished and flashing for charging, pretty simple. So let's say you wanted to charge something, what you can do is, you can see it, well look, I'm gonna use a pass-through. So, let's say you had this yes cell and it was full and you thought, yeah, but I really need to charge the phone or something like that. You could put in a, a lead, and then, hang on, let's get, this, let's get this the right way around. So I'm using a type C here. So there's your power bank and then you could use it like a pass-through. So if you put this into here, that's charging. So you're taking juice from here to charge the cell. In fact, I think this is full anyway. Um, I'll, I'll go and find something which isn't full. So for example, if I have one, there's a GoPro, so we'll try that as well. I think it's probably full, but we'll, we shall have a look. 
So if we were to put the type C into here, which is there, let's have a look. So we've got a light there, there. It's now charging. So you're passing it through, you're taking the juice back from the cell through and to the GoPro and it's charging there. So that, that certainly works. So, very interesting product. Let's get all this out the way. And I want to compare it. So move that and I want to compare it to the Olight because I think there's some, there's some important issues which I want to discuss. Right, first thing, the Olight can be any way around. You can just stick one at the top, stick one at the bottom. It doesn't matter, it's, it's going to charge. You, you, you're having to muck around and put it the right way around with a follow off. Okay, there's the first problem. Second problem. This only charges lithium ion batteries. So, if I move that, this is a lithium ion. And now lithium ion is the currently one of the best uh, battery chemistries that you could use. It has excellent sort of capacities. Um, it's it's very good, no memory effect, and it's it's pretty bang up to date. Now, as well as those, you have. I shall just find one. This should be one here. There's an AnyLoop Pro. Now this is a high capacity, which is great. But look, um, it should have it on here, which will tell you this is a rechargeable. And then you see the Ni. Hyphen MH, that stands for nickel metal hydride. So it's a different chemistry. So unfortunately, I can't use this to charge a nickel metal hydride, and yet I can on the O light. So that's a big problem because half of my lights, especially the smaller ones, use nickel metal hydride batteries, and the larger, more expensive ones use the much better chemistry, in my personal opinion anyway, of the lithium ion. So that's another problem. So you've got the, the polarity problem and it only charges lithium ions. Yes, you could argue um, most people should be using lithium ions, but in certain form factors, especially like AAA, you're not really gonna get a lot of um, lithium batteries. Yeah, you can get them, you can get the 14450s in the, in the AA configuration and things like that, but you shouldn't have to worry about that. So yes, it has the added function of a power bank. In other words, you can use your cell to charge your cell phone and battery cameras and things like that but you're missing out so let, let's let's go through those price wise very similar it, I would rather forego the ability to use it as a power bank and not have to worry oh I can't use it on this cell and I've got to make sure it's the right way around I, th I would argue I would go for the Olight it looks better um, it's there's no drawbacks to that, whereas this does have drawbacks. I wish they could re-release this and use, update the firmware or, or whatever they're using. I don't know if it's a, an SOC they're using there to control the charging. I mean, there is one positive to this over that. This, the charge rate on this, now if I remember rightly, yeah, the maximum output, now bear in mind, I realise that chargers don't use this 100% of the charge cycle. They tend to fire a load of charge and then trickle off at the end, but the maximum is 750 milliamps. So that's the, that's the most juice this is gonna put out. Whereas this one's gonna be a bit quicker because if we check the box, this one's gonna pump out 1000 milliamps. So it's 25% faster. Well, that's wrong. It's it's putting out 25% more juice towards the battery. It can also power bank backwards that way as well. So there's good points and bad points. The polarity is a bit of an annoyance, but easily sorted, especially if you're paying attention. Um, you know, that's fair enough. This one, it isn't. And it can only be used on lithium ions, which is very annoying. But when it is, it's going faster. I would rather wait a little bit longer and have the ability to charge any type of battery, so I'd go for the Olight. But I think they've done an okay product. It works, and I like the fact that it's got the pass-through. It's an interesting feature, and it's certainly not, not heavier than the Olight. Um, they work very similar, and the batteries are just as magnetic and sticky, and it's working on the large cells. So there's no problems with it. Um, marks out a 10. Well, I would give this... I ah, see it says there, only lithium-ion, which is a shame. I would give this a seven. I think there's room for improvement. If you could change it so it also works with nickel metal hydride, um, I'll be much, much happier because then it's it, it's coming close to the Olight. And I think, you should, can you not work out a way of 
copying whatever all I have done where you can just stick those terminals top and bottom either way and it doesn't matter that's got to be a better way of doing it so room for improvement seven out of ten it certainly works I'm not complaining and it's got a nice output which is a thousand milliamps but it, I think there's a few improvements that need making so seven out of ten